viewers, this is Beaver Ashino One, and you're welcome to another segment of Raising with Queen. It's been a while, yes. I've been on a maternity leave. Yes, you can congratulate me. I just had a baby, and it's a boy. <laughs> okay. So, today, you know, for the past few weeks now, we have been on a serious business. And you know what I'm talking about. Taking back our country from these old haggard politicians. And I want to tell you guys that i am so proud of the nigerian youth you guys made me proud on the 25th of february 2023 you guys show them how it is done the power belongs to us and gradually we are taking our place see let me tell you something it's not going to be easy anyone that told you that it's going to be easy is lying to you we all know that it's not going to be easy so don't give up i see some people destroying their pvc they are not going to vote they are not going to vote. you are still giving these old hard politicians the opportunity to ruin your life but when you stand your ground and fight and fight to finish trust me we are going to win and we are winning already so don't get, don't, don't fidget. This is even the beginning, though. Know? We just started the fight and you're tired. Ah, you don't want to enjoy the fruit of your labor gone. We will enjoy it, though. You see this labor gone? We are not going to labor in vain. We all know that another election is coming up on the 11th of March, 2023. And of course, people are going to come out. People have been canvassing for votes. That's a meal. That's a meal. Eh? Even the ones that you've not used your two eyes to see, you will see them that day. All of them will come out mm, that they should vote for them. Some people will be roasting corn. <laughs> we have passed that level of following us to roast corn, cleaning the streets, and telling us that you belong to the poor mass. Oh, please shut up. Stop telling us that lies. We are no longer interested in them because we all know that when you get to that place, you pretend as if you don't even know who put you there. Look at what Soludo is doing. Eh? This person that we 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 supported with our full chest. Well, anyways, what I want to tell you guys is there is a trend now to to put all other parties aside and put Labour Party in power. In as much as this is a brilliant idea and it's actually working because a lot of people won the election in on 25th of February. I'm telling you the truth. Even people that we don't know, even people that did not even campaign. Just that wing of glory of P2B, you know, flew on them and they won the election. In as much as I love the idea, because now it's not it's not about election. We are going, we are talking about revolution, and the revolution is really, really getting tough. It's hitting them. Yes, a lot of them are scared. We have retired most of them, and we are glad we did. Look at Enugu State Governor that did nothing in Enugu State, and he wants to come and be senator. We retired him. That is how it's done. You understand? You know. He send their heart back to every happy long go. Let them go home and look after their self and their children. But we are not going to do this election emotionally because we will end up regretting it again. Uh -huh. Because there are people we call opportunity. The opportunities they are now sitting at the back of what we have prepared already to start flying. Hey, well, I'm pretending as if they are good. I saw what happened in Anambra State. Some people like that won an election that irritated me. But I don't blame Anambra people for voting Labour Party all the way. We don't suffer for the hand of APC and PDP. We don't want all those stories again. Now, where I am going to is, if you are coming out to vote on 11 or March, please, I beg you, research who you are voting for. Make sure he's a person of character and good personality. Someone that has your interest at heart. Whether the person is in APC. Whether the person is in PDP, whether the person is in Abga, whether the person is in Labour, whoever the person, wh where, whichever party that person is, under the umbrella that person is, I beg in the name of God, vote for a good personality, don't vote for a party. I, like I said before, I like the idea of Labour Party from top to bottom, but trust me, a lot of opportunists are not hiding under the umbrella of PDP to come inside. All those weary, those ones that have left more than 100 parties, those ones that have done nothing in their constituency. They are not pretending as if they are sent all of a sudden. Found on easy bomb model. They are not flying and coming to join labor so that you can vote for them. I am John. We reject it and we refuse. Hmm? If it happened once, it's a mistake. If you happen twice, up again on the air. It's now a choice. And it's a choice that you're going to live with the consequences. That aside, vote for personality, not party. Lesson number one. Lesson number two. 
that I said, let me bring to you people's notice hmm? is don't forget to hold these people you are putting into that place accountable. Hey, hey, that is where the beggar is now. You put them there, you remove your eyes as if it's no longer your business. It's your business. Like I used to say in this platform, politics controls the way you even breathe. After air is politics, so that is what actually you know. Say what is going to happen in your life down to your bedroom. So you have to hold these people accountable. You put them there. Follow them all social media person. Ask questions. Follow their manifestos. Know what they promised. Anyone that has fallen short of, remind them. And anybody that came that falls short in that four years that you put them, remove them immediately with urgency. Now I got the raw time. I the raw. Eh? After having my baby. I knew what time I stayed in ESO. I knew how important it is. Before this nonsense, the decisions of 2023 we passed, it's four years old. And then my son will be four years. Do you know what is a four year old child? Ah, ah. This is not time to start playing and gambling with your future. Mm -mm. This is not time to be emotional. This is time to be brutal. This is the time to know that, ah, this is a do or die affair. If I don't get it right this time around, it's another four years of suffering. Let's just, let us even put it eight years. Because these people, when they're in power, it's now difficult to bring them out. Hmm? Take these two lessons. Follow it up. And make sure you stand your ground. Because we are talking about your future here. And that of your children and unborn children. If we get it right, our children will be glad with us. So, I am back. Not fully back because I'm still in my maternity leave. I'm not yet three months. But... You start seeing my faces. Yes, you start seeing my face regularly. I love you guys and I'm so glad to talk to you guys today. Have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead of you.